This is Troy with Big Water UAV Solutions, and I'm giving you a little behind the scenes. Since I'm building a new quad, the Sedora SL5 V2, I thought it would be a good idea to update my Crossfire uh, system, specifically my Tango 2. I'm running version 4.1. Uh, firmware as all as as are my two quads the Pavel 30 and the Nazgul Evolk F5D now it's my understanding that the newer quads the new or the newer crossfire rece receivers of which I have here to install on the Sedora require a minimum of version 6.1. It's my understanding that that's the case. So not knowing if that is the, indeed the case with that, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the Tango 2 firmware now, and then update the Crossfire receivers. And you can see over here the reason again why my Sedora build right here, um, which I'll be wrapping up probably tomorrow or the next day. And then, of course, we've got a new Nazgul Evoke F6D uh, to uh, bind. Uh, this is a bind and fly uh, Nazgul Evoke F6D. So we'll go ahead and get started. You can see I've got the um, Tango 2 already uh, connected and it is in uh, agent mode. Um, for those of you who don't know that, uh, you, there are plenty of tutorials online. Um, I've also got, let me adjust this here. I also have, I've backed up the SD card, um, the component set are suggested from Team Black Sheep to back up. Um, and I backed, backed those up uh, this morning. So we're gonna go ahead here and link uh, the USB device. And go ahead, select the Tango 2. And it's going to go ahead and let us know that it is indeed linked. Um, now I have the um, quad off now while we go through this process of um, updating the Tango, Tango 2. It's my understanding as well that w you don't have to rebind your RX. It's my understanding that after you update the TX, You'll power off the drone and then put the TX, which is the Tango 2, into bind mode and the RX will update via OTA and remain bound. That, that came from a video I watched uh, from, from Team Black Sheep's couch that came from Trappy. So we'll see if that is indeed the case. Um, on whether I need to do that or not. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. We are going to select the Tango 2 uh, transmitter, and we are going to go down to firmware, and we can see here our current firmware is 4.10. We are going to go ahead and take the latest public version, 6.13. We're going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to update to version 6.13 and see what kind of hell breaks loose. So here we go. Okay, and we are supposed to stay at the current tab during the update process. 
So when that finishes up, we'll come back. I'm gonna shut the camera down um, and we will, uh, it, it will update just to go through the process. Uh, let's see, we gotta relink the USB device. It will update the main firmware and then the various subsystems. And then we'll go ahead after that's all done, we'll update the Freedom TX. And then we will also then uh, fire up this Pavel 30 and update the uh, Crossfire RX and make sure, sure that goes well. And then we will do the same with the Nazca Evoke. Hopefully we don't have to rebind everything. So. So it is at 99.9%, 99.9% on the updating of the subsystems. Successful update. So let's go ahead and link the USB device. Should be able to see what version we're at. says we are at 6.13. Now the Tango 2 is the firmware for the um, Freedom RX. We are gonna go ahead and update that right away as well. We're going from version 1.21 to version 1.3. Okay, it looks like everything took. I got the Freedom TX updated. That shows a current firmware of version 1.30. The Tango 2 shows a firmware of 6.13, which is the current public ver ver version. Uh, configuration under the radio settings um, looks exactly like I had it, which is a good thing. So now, we're supposed to power up the quad. I'm gonna go ahead and hit bind on here. Bind with the Nano RX. Yes, confirm. Update receiver. It says it's updating the receiver. Okay, it stopped, that's good. Binding okay. All right. We'll go ahead and close out of this. We will go to the, now we can see on the screen under Agent M, our Tango uh, transmitter, or Tango 2, or Tango Wi-Fi, um, which I've not gotten into, and our Nano RX. Which is our Crossfire RX. Um, let's go ahead and just look real quick, see what the firmware on this says. It says version 6.13. So, all appears well. Um, remember, FPV is not a crime. Um, and updating the Tango 2 to the latest firmware, 6.13. I believe I'm on. Through Agent M was relatively painless. Um, and so, not much left to say about that other than please subscribe, give us a like, and a thumbs up. It really help, will help the channel grow and uh, it motivates me to provide more content. So, again, thanks for watching. Take care.